Hey yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. It's another modding tutorial. In this modding tutorial, I'm gonna explain how to download reskin mods for Sekiro. So, basic thing, first thing you're gonna need is Sekiro Mod Engine. You can download it from nexusmods.com. I have it installed, but for the sake of the video, I'll just show you guys how to actually install it. So you wanna go to files, you wanna click on manual download and you're gonna click on slow download if you're going free but if you have premium then go for fast download it's better of course so i have it i won't install it right now but yeah i'll just cross it off and then we have this sorrow cosplay mod the one i will use for this video the reskin mod i'm going to use so there are three different files right here you can download like without the cape and in 4k 2.0 and then there's the normal file at the top. I'm gonna download this one. I have this one installed already as well. Same thing, click on slow download, wait a few seconds, it's gonna start downloading. Fast download, same thing, just faster. And then you wanna go open Windows Explorer. In your downloads, you're gonna see these two files. If you downloaded the Zorro mod, you're gonna see the Zorro one. So you wanna open these two using an extraction software. I'm using WinRAR, of course, as I do in every other video I made. So you're gonna see this parts folder in the mod that we just installed and if you open that you're gonna see those files, those DCX files. If you open mod engine you'll see these files, the INI, the .dll and the readme file. Of course the readme is not necessary but it's just there. So what you wanna do is go to the mod engine one, in the mod engine. You wanna open the mod engine one and you wanna drag and drop these into your Sekiro game directory. Mind you, this is the one, the cracked version of the game. So if you have the cracked version, this is the method I'm going to suggest for it. And you want to create a new folder, label it mods. There you go. And then just open that. You can close this now. And then just drag and drop the parts folder in there. There you go. You got the parts folder. And just so you know, some mods contain an MTD folder. Of course, an MTD folder is not included in this, but for an example, it will, some mods will contain an MTD. Some other mods don't even have an MTD. They have like menu and games, game pair acts and many other folders. Just want to copy paste all of them in there. I'm going to delete that because it not, it's not necessary. And yeah, it's all done. Now I'm just going to launch the game to show you guys it's all working up and ready. There's the game. I'm just gonna launch, start up a save file. I'm gonna be using this save. And let's wait for it to load. There you go. As you can see, the model is working. It looks quite good considering that it was a 3.5 megabyte file. It looks pretty neat, although the cloak is kind of glitchy. Yeah. Of course, the 4K would definitely look better. And as you can see, the game isn't glitching at all. I think it would glitch in cutscenes, but if it doesn't, then it's amazing. But yeah, that's the tutorial. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys found this tutorial useful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.